hi everybody. Uh, we're just about ready to get started here. We're going to be doing our part two. Um, so, I don't want to have this feedback, so I got to shut that off. Oops. And hopefully you can hear me. All right. All right, let's see. I'm gonna say hello. Oop, I should learn how to spell. All right, so if you remember last week, uh, we were painting a sea otter. So this week we are going to finish him. Um, and We'll wait here a few seconds to see if anyone else comes in. Let me see here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. I imagine you can. Um, now if I can just get this to show me if there's anyone here. Okay. Alrighty, so uh, what we're going to do basically now that we have all this background in, and um, well, just a few messages too. This will be my last painting for about six to eight weeks until after I recover from my surgery. Uh, I'm not exactly sure um, what, what to expect. I know that my hand is going to be kind of messed up for a while, and... Uh, I won't be able to do any kind of artwork, most likely. I did, I got my book finished, or my illustrations for the book, um, which will be coming out around um, Halloween. Uh, I put the final touches on it yesterday and sent it to my author daughter, and that should be coming up soon. And then um, we are going to be, if I can, I don't know if I can, I'm going to try to start working on it today a little bit. Uh, we're we're going to make another book, uh, well, there's actually three set up for the future, whenever I can get to them. So, uh, I'll just wait a few minutes. I don't know if anybody's going to show up. I think I had two people before there, and now I don't have any, but maybe somebody will show up eventually. Um... So, let's get started. It is, I think, I believe it is, yep, 10 o'clock. So, <clears throat> I kind of wanted to go through and see if uh, everything was set up okay. I was getting, like, some feedback, but I think I got that fixed, so. And, um, let's see if I can get myself to say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so, glad you could join me today. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to join me in eight weeks when I'm feeling better. I might do some lives, uh, like, you know, blogs and things like that. But most likely, uh, that's all it'll be. All right, so um, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get some of this background in. Uh, now, the background is kind of uh, blurred, uh, so... I just want to get those pieces in right now. Um, let's see. Let's start out with my flat brush here, small flat. This one is a bright, a 14. And I'm going to start out with some gray. I'm going to do a glaze. Most of this is going to be glazes today. I think uh, that'll be my best bet here is some glazes. And hopefully you can see where I'm putting this. So, glazes um, are basically watered down acrylic. And um, I can use my liquid, glazing liquid by Golden. I have to get some more of this. I, it's kind of expensive. 
And unfortunately, it turned blue because I had blue on my um, brush one time and it kind of messed things up. So I'm going to grab some of my glazing liquid and just move some of this into the gray. And this is kind of like a dull gray, so I'm going to add a little white to it. It's not a dull gray, but it's if I can open my white tube, oh, I might have to use another one. That one is too hard to open. So this one's uh okay. So I used gray. It's a neutral gray from Master's Touch. It's a heavy body. And this is white from Galleria. I'm probably going to use quite a bit of glazing liquid because I want this because it's so thick and everything because this is like a thick body and uh, I have to get it watered down. Then I'm going to add maybe a little water to it. So my brush doesn't get all full here with that. Yeah, so we might be doing some uh, vlogs, maybe some interviews with some other artists. That's what I'm thinking. If you're interested in being on that, um, I think in a couple weeks I should feel a little bit better, I'm hoping. And uh, I'll be able to kind of do what I need to do. So I'm going to add a little water, just a tad of water to this. Because I don't want it really too thick. Okay, let's see how this goes on. Now glazes, like I said, they're just kind of light and they just kind of go over because we have all that nice underpainting and we definitely want that to show through. And glazes will help that happen. Glazing, you might have to put a few coats on. Uh, once this dries, it should should be pretty pretty decent. So this comes down to about right here to his ear here. But all that work that we did last week, we wanted to show through. So, and don't forget your sides. And this will just help blend it. This one comes down a little bit further. But I like to get my background in uh, first. Because that just helps me to see what's going on. Helps me to make my flat come to life. My flat painting. Because... That's your key, too. You want to make it look like it pops out of the canvas a little bit. And it, you can see that some of that is coming through. I wish I was allowed to play some music. Unfortunately, with uh, YouTube, they won't let you do that, and then you get copyright issues. But I like to like paint with some music playing. Look at how nice that looks. So now I'm just going to put this uh, brush in water and I'm going to make a deep blue glaze. So I'm going to use my uh, Thalo Cycling 
Uh, this is a master stitch also. I'm going to put that here. And I am going to add some more glazing liquid to that. And let's see here. I might have some. I have gloss. I don't want gloss. Let's get some more of this out. I like this one because it's nice and liquidy. Just wipe this off. Put it in there. Add a little water. And I actually might put a little bit of this gray in here to mix that in there. Because I want to kind of dull it down a little. here it's uh, kind of blue so we're gonna put that in there nice piece of blue and we're gonna kind of get some of that gray and blend it with that too so it's nice and and okay so the stalocycline can take over so you just want to try to be careful when you're doing this. I mean, you want to have that, like, um, where it kind of just looks, oh, what can I say? Out of focus a little bit. We're gonna add the rest of the gray down in here. Blend it in. Got to be more gray here. More gray. So you can keep on blending, but you gotta watch because that blue is so intense. And it's okay if it's blended like that because it kind of looks nice. It looks nice that way. So our water is more of a uh, gray background. But all those other shades are coming through on it. That's why it's kind of glazed, because we want those other shades to show through. So I'm just going to keep working downward here until I get to this point right here. And then there's some blue. That is like almost like a little bit of a, and there's some right here. So we want to get that in, and there's some down through here also. So we're just going to add a little bit of those touches right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that blue, gray, gray again. Just kind of blend all that in. Blend it in. And it kind of turns like this bluish gray. So that's good. This is all good stuff. What's happening here? We'll come back to that and add some more gray to it. 
Now I keep rinsing out my brush because I want that gray to be more gray. Like I said, that blue can take over because it's a very strong shade. See how that's starting to look blurred out? Kind of really cool. Must be like an overcast day here on that otter picture. You can build up a lot with just glazes. It takes a little time, but it's all well worth it. I'm going to get a little bit of purple out here. This is my uh, Brilliant Purple. I'm going to add a little bit of the glazing liquid to some of this. And right in here, looks like there's just a tad of this purple. There we go. So I'm going to let that side dry a bit. I'm going to get some more of that blue because this right here is very, very intense right in here. And it's right here. I'm just going to kind of put some of these in here. And I have a little bit right in here. So we're going to let this dry on this side here. It shouldn't take too, too long. And then we'll come back to that. Uh, we'll go back over here and do a little bit more of this uh, glazing. So I'm adding more glazing liquid because it's starting to dry out. We don't want that to happen. We want to make sure we get all this covered, but yet where it shows through. So I don't have anyone joining me today. I probably should just be, uh, instead of painting, I should, uh, live, I should just record this as a regular painting. Yeah, I don't have that oomph like some people, you know, they get that real theatrics going. I'm just a plain old painter, nothing fancy with me more of this glaze on over this away. Some here. I'll let that dry some more. Same here. And it's very blue down here, so we want that just to get covered a little bit. Just a little get a little small brush here. I, I think what I wanted to, okay, this is a number eight bright. It's a bristle. Oh, I can't see that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put some deeper blue in here. I want that to really pop right here. Right here. Actually, I'm not even using the glazing. I just want this to be nice and dark. Same here. Okay. Um, also in here, because that's like kind of a wave going on here, like, you know, from this little critter uh, popping out, I guess, out of the ocean. Okay, 
I'm going to get that purple because that's like part of that wave. Comes right in through here. So then once I put the um, glazing liquid, it'll kind of, I mean the glazing gray, kind of just pop that out a little bit more. All right. Okay, now um, on his picture, there's quite a bit of blue up and through here, and it comes in through here also, and in through here. So I am going to put that blue, I'm gonna start working that blue in uh, to this. Okay, I'm gonna put more white out. if I can get some of this scraped up a little. Let's see. I tend to really work wide. Okay. Let me just wipe that up a little bit. put some white out I'm gonna put a bunch of white out because I'm gonna need that quite a bit all right I don't know if you can see some white into this. And some of the gray, it's kind of nice to mix that together also. It's a very pale blue, but it still pops out. And with that shade that we're using there, uh, that will really make it pop. ear. Definitely right here. Put some more here. Because I'm glazing, it's going to be a little bit thicker as I go down. You know, it starts to pop out a little bit more. gonna get my gray kind of blend it a little bit just go over it very lightly with the gray I'm not dragging it everywhere Just using the smaller brush to do this. A little bit of white in there I think would make that a little bit brighter in through some of these areas here. Just a tad. Kind of brighten it up a bit. Make it look like it's popping out of there. Mm -hmm. 
nothing really too heavy, but I'm going to be putting some more gray in here too, so. Oops, a little bit dark in here. All right, then we'll be adding some more gray into that. Okay, so let's go on to the blue, pale blue, a little bit of glazing liquid here. All right, so we have this very lightly on top here with his head it's where the sun is shining. If there is sun, I don't know if there's sun or not because it seems like it's not any thing like this water is so gray and everything and just a lightness there Rinse this out because I want to get that kind of white. In here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Nicely done. Okay. Now, let's get some of this bluish colors in. Gets a little darker, so I'm going to add a little bit more blue. In through here still using lots of uh, glaze and through here it's very blue covering that purple a little bit It's a little lighter right in here. This blue is a little bit lighter, so we'll add a little white to that. And through here. Getting that blue in there. And just a tad, it's wider, and through here, nothing too crazy like, a little bit of white. It looks white, it's got that little taste of blue in there, and that's what we need. with uh, some of my purple, touch of purple, little touch of purple, believe it or not, a little bit of purple in through here too. But he's pretty shaggy through here. That pink is going to show through a little bit because he's going to have that in there. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my gray. Kind of build up on some of this that I have here. Oh, hi. Hi, Sherry. How are you today? Glad you could join me. Yeah, he's a cute little thing, I think, too. Okay, so we're going to go up through that. Let's get a little bit more blue in through, I mean, more of this gray in here. Now, we're just using uh, glazes, Sherry. 
Um, glazes are just light washes. Uh, you can use a glazing liquid or you can use water. Um, you do this actually on portraits as well. So it's a good segue if you're interested in doing portraits it's kind of nice to start out with animals because you know even I mean you want to try to get it atom atomically correct uh, but when you're doing a portrait you definitely have to have that um, you know pretty close to the person and the way they look because you know eyes wise and everything else can be really a mess. Okay, this is more of my glaze. I'm using a glazing liquid for this. You can use water glazing liquid. Um, and on my Pinterest, I'll have all this, uh, all these photos put in there so you can see how and what I followed. Now I got my, I got this paint picture actually off of um, Pixabay. Uh, after watching the Shark Week, I, you know, saw that sharks were taking bites out of these little critters and they were dying. I mean, they're just becoming extinct on the one shore there. I think it's in Australia. And uh, I like to kind of make people aware that things are happening. I'm going to get some more glazing liquid here. Um, I want to try to be aware of these things. I think I need a little bit more water in there. Just getting it in there, very lightly painting it. But yet that blue is showing through, and that's what we want. This is sort of like a, you know, it must be an overcast day. Just going to use my fingers there. Uh, wherever this ocean is. Now this will be my last painting for about eight weeks until I get my surgery and my fingers better. I'm having issues with my thumb. <laughs> right now it does, yeah. Um, okay, so last week's painting, we did an underpainting of this and that's why it looks like Picasso. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see here. Okay, so I'm going to use some of my burnt umber, or is it, yeah, burnt umber. We're going to do some glazing with that, and I'm going to get my raw umber also, because we're going to use some of that. Let me see where that is. I may have dropped that, yes, no, no. Raw umber. Oh, goodness sake. Hmm. Red oxide. I wonder where my umber is. Let's see. Oh, here we go. My raw, raw sienna. Sorry. Red oxide looks nice too, so we might use some of that in his his uh, picture. So I'm putting out these lighter this lighter shade here. I know you probably can't see. Let's see over here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I am going to use my. Luckily, I have my garbage can right here this time. I've got it all together. Oh, your faces do. Well, it takes time. You know, it's all about blending. Um, if you use these glazes, it kind of just kind of helps them to shape up. 
when I took a class up at the community college, the teacher showed me all these things. And um, so like for portraits, you want to do glazes uh, and just build up slowly. Um, and it makes such a difference. I, I mean, it really does. Okay, so I'm going to mix uh, some of this with my raw sienna. That's white, titanium white. I'm going to throw in a little bit of my unbleached titanium. See if that kind of gives it a little bit of a flare. Now I'm going to grab some of my glazing liquid, even though it's blue. <laughs> Maybe add a little water to it too. Okay. Right. So now around this little guy's eye, right in here, and throughout here, I'm going to be using this this uh, um, raw sienna mixture. And it's glazed. It's a glaze, so it's just going to go over all this very lightly. And we're going to build up on him. See, still the under, underneath is uh, showing through. And we want that, kind of that, all to come out. He's coming, it's coming around here. So I'm just using this number number eight bright. It's a uh, Bristol bright. And we're coming around here in some of these places. And his coat right in through here has some of this. Comes about right through here. Just gonna tap it there. And this comes down where it's real light there, that yellow that we have in the base underpainting. Yeah, it's hard to uh, do portraits. Portraits aren't easy. I, uh, it's, I struggle with those, I do. I mean, it's just one of those things you got to take practice, practice, practice. That's that's mostly all this art is just practice and practice and more practice. Okay, now I'm going to get some of my darker burnt umber. These are kind of warm shades, and that's what we want. I'm going to add a little bit of that in there my burnt sienna. I mean my raw sienna. Okay. And we're going to put some of this in here. In his ear. I get his ear going here. This might be actually a little darker. So I'm going into the dark. Uh, and that's okay if we use this without a glaze. Here and around. Okay. Okay, so 
it's a it's very dark around here his little side here and it's very dark in through here so I'm just gonna start putting that in also um, and that's I'm still using that umber burnt umber with some glaze and because I have that black underneath there that glaze will just kind of look like a darker brown one of the uh, pictures I had done a while back of Louie the dog I did the same thing and he just turned out so well my daughter was just telling me she's gonna be at my house when I do this get the surgery Yeah, I have to go in for surgery next Friday. I'm a little nervous. I think it's going to hurt a lot, but I think in the long run, I will be better off. Um, my thumb, my right thumb, which is my main area of use because I'm a right-hander, uh, I'm going to be getting that taken care of. Okay, actually... And it comes down through here a little bit. And it comes through here. in here out this is just a tad darker here the shadows on this will add yes it's true oh yeah that was easy <laughs> yeah that was an easy painting without the faces yeah I didn't want to get that holy family messed up so I, that's kind of why I did that without the faces, you know. There's always a method to the madness, right? So, yeah. Such a Yeah, I don't even know how long my surgery is going to take next week. I'm just so worried. I, <laughs> I just hope it turns out okay. I'm sure it will. It's just, you know, you always get nervous about things like that. I'm going to use some of this just straight. Um... This is my raw sienna, or burnt sienna, I'm sorry. I get these all mixed up sometimes. We're just gonna kinda go over that orange shade lightly. Get a little bit of my glazing liquid. Now I'm gonna start adding these shades and as I do this, I'm going in the same direction as his fur would be. That's important to always go in that direction. Now see that orange underneath is really popping this out. Get some of this. And 
it just helps to pop these shades. It's it's cool how this all just happens, you know. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to mix a little bit of that umber with my light here. You know what? I think I want to use something different. I'm going to use my oxide, my red oxide. That is such a nice shade. And uh, it's a brand new tube here. So I'll put this out. I don't know if you can see it on my palette but he's got more red in his uh, coat so add a little bit of glazing liquid and it's more reddish up in here this cute little mouth. It's so cute. red oxide. I think that really helps to pop some of this color. Let's see right underneath here. And that orange is. Aw, uh, sorry Sherry. Well you can check back later on this evening. It should be up. I mean it takes a while for this to actually um, work out. Uh, with YouTube it takes a while for it to I don't know what they what they're doing with it but yeah well we'll see you I plan on doing some um, lives once I get better um, maybe interviewing my daughter with her book and uh, my other daughter with her her blog so uh, we'll see you soon Have a good day. Alright, let's see here now. Let's get some of this light in.
this green shine is where it's really going to pop this. Okay, we want some more of this. Mr. C. Otter. Okay, so we've got some blue, blues, and reddish shades coming through also. So let's see. I have that oxide shade, red oxide. No, I want this quinacridone. A little quinacridone magenta coming through. And this is really going to be. Uh, watered down. Watered down. Well, glazed out anyways. Because once this is on, we're going to glaze over it with some of the brown shades. See, I've got some of that already in there. And that has to pop out a little bit. Some blue's gonna be in there. Put some of that in there. You have to really look close at your uh, uh, pictures because it gives you all the details. So you really have to study your paint picture in order for this to work out right. Okay, I'm going back into my gray here. So I'm gonna kinda get this another glaze over here. Glazing over it, building it up. Building up. Just keep building up on this. Grandkids are in school today, so I have a chance to actually concentrate on what I'm doing, which is nice. I'm going to go back into my blue, because I want to kind of blend this a little bit better like, with that gray. And up in here. Just kind of blend that with that because that has to pop. That definitely has to come out. And a little bit more of that gray. This is a wave here, so we want to make sure that looks like a wave. Hopefully my head isn't in the way. <laughs>
usually a dark and then a light added will make it look like it's a wave, which this is kind of doing now. It's making it look more wavy. More dark in through here, just blending it up. And I'm going to actually kind of get this a little bit more here. Maybe what we'll do, get this darker, a little bit thicker paint. And I'll go into my gray. I'm going to blend it in with that. I always like to make something look like it's waving at you, um, you know, or like detailed. You always put a dark and light together. This way, it kind of shows like, like this happening here. See that wave looks like it's plopping now. Dark and light, light and dark. Even if you're doing some curtains or whatever, it just kind of helps it. And put some of this in here. Get some more of that nice and dark. Nice and dark. I'm spending more time on this part because I want this to come out. It has to pop a little bit. So it makes it look like there is a wave there. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Okay, let's get a little darker up in here by his ear. Just a little glazing here. Actually, a little bit of blue here. And some right here. And that's pretty dark, so I'm going to get this a little darker here. Get a little bit of the gray. I just blend it in. I'll just come back and glaze over that. Just kind of blend it in there. Okay. A little bit over here. Okay. Now I got some of that blue and violet coming in here. So I'm going to get some of that, my lighter blue, which comes about right here. blending it up here and then there's some of that violet shade kind of just coming right in through there right in here right in here I'm going to switch to my larger brush. I'm going into my burnt, what is this, raw sand or burnt umber, burnt umber. Goodness sake, I should just mark these so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so up in here, we want this and want this a little bit 
better also. in here it's very very deep right in here get some of that what 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 which one was this it's not the red oxide my raw sienna that's the one okay so it goes in here <clears throat> this is gonna be kind of bright here but that's all right it's going to blend in here. What's that? Dark. I'm going to get some more dark. Just kind of blend over that. Tapping it in. Just kind of tapping it in. Okay, now this has a lot of that bluish shade in there too. So I'm going to put that blue in right in through here. This could actually, you know, indicate that maybe some water is on him. Just a little tad of that. And it comes around, let's see, around here a little bit. Not a lot, just, you know, an indication that there is some blue. A little bit of this darker shade here of blue. We may have to come back. Let that dry a bit. And this is like a... Okay. In here it's dark. Coming down here, it starts to get dark right in here. Okay, we're going good so far. Oh, hi, Grayscale. Thank you. Didn't know you were here. I love Grayscale's work. He does such a nice job on his paintings. He, uh, really uh, is very good and he just got monetized yay that's always something great when you get that monetization 
I still got a ways to go. <laughs> got a ways to go. But I'm getting there. Slowly but surely. That's always our goal here on YouTube to get monetized. Rinsing out my brush again. Okay, so I'm going over, yeah, I kind of skip around a little bit. Um, just want to get in through here some. I'm still glazing a little bit here and there. Kind of getting this in. Get a little bit of this <clears throat> around his nose here. I want to maybe switch my brush again. But I don't want to cover up my underpainting here too much. This definitely has to be very, very dark. And then in through here, it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to go over to my lighter color here. And I'm still working with the glazing. like a little bluish cast. So I'm going to mix a little bit of my blue and brown. Kind of at the ugly stage right now. Kind of interesting when it gets to that ugly stage. It's almost looking like something, but not quite there. moving in the same direction as his coat. So, and this is actually all glaze here that I'm doing. So those undershades come through. Just a tad darker in through here.
just going to go a little bit darker here without the glaze. I want to cover this pretty decently. lighter. Let me get some of that rose with some white. Right in there. And through some of this, there is that rose shade in his coat. Put some of that through here too. Bet you never realized that a sea otter had so many shades in its coat. But it's just the, probably the way the sun is hitting it. It's a reflection. More of that is coming here. With that kind of almost white. So if I mix that with this white, I just might get that lighter shade. We're going to come back to it. blend it. Gotta blend these shades. Yeah, he's looking really cute. He is just coming about. So, now I'm just kind of making these little strokes in here just so that it looks like his fur. Kind of just want to get those little strokes in there. A little bit of my oxide. Oh, oh my daughter said that she's almost done with the book. So that's awesome. She, uh, I did the, the uh, work in it, the uh, illustrations, and she's written it. Like I said, we're going to be coming out with a COVID. Well, this one's here. This one that we just did is more um, Halloween. So that'll, that I got done for Halloween. But we've got a whole series lined up. So it took me quite a bit of time to work on that. But it is coming along. It will be out soon. I can't wait to see it when it's all done. This is like the second, well, the third time I did illustrations for books. Um, lots of fun. Now I'm trying not to use my black in here, but I may have to just to get that depth uh, that I want here. I want that green there showing through a bit. Okay. Um, because he needs to have that depth for his nose and things like that. Oh, he's cute. He is so cute. Yeah, he's looking really nice. Um, let me get some black out. 
black and brown because it he's really dark in some places so I can mix the uh, umber along with my black <clears throat> right in let's see what color is it sort of looks like that oxide I'm gonna get that oxide right here so that when I blend this other in this brownish black will show nicely That's just some warmth in his nose. Okay. And up in through here. Kind of has that depth. Lots of depth in here and around here. Ever worry how your painting is going to turn out if you think it's you know not going to turn out right especially when you're doing a live I'm not I'm not really um, a person that can do lives very well I guess and so I get a little worried when I'm doing these things hope, hoping that they turn out right you know but so far, I mean, I've had success. I, I think that most of my paintings have turned out really nice as a live. Okay, so we're going right in here with his cute little lips and stuff that goes up here. Comes out here. This is all very dark. Okay, so this is kind of white. Light, like a lightish. Well, let's see, that's sort of like, I'm wondering if I blend some of these together. Yeah, that might look nice here. We're still trying to do glazes on top of this. Let me grab some of my glazing liquid. Actually, this is where um, we are going to have his little, whatever those things are that come out, his whiskers. <laughs> So, kind of glazing over that orange, glazing over it.
Okay, and we'll just get a little touch of light. Uh, oops, that's way too light. Oh, too light. Blend that in. Here. All right. Get a little bit more dark here. some of that blue kind of coming through here a little the dark here to go over that bit of my mixture here, a little bit of my glazing liquid. bluish gray that's going in through here so I'm just going to tap that in tap it in and then I can go around the rest of it gets darker on this bottom part here get some of this and kind of goes in this direction and over here okay and this dark brown like in here and coming through here very little bit is showing through there very little this around here that I get quiet when I'm concentrating I apologize if you're wondering what I'm doing I'm just trying to concentrate on this now that actually is part of his um hand area right here you know his arm this is his little arm that comes through here as he's swimming kind of cute huh it's a cute little 
Okay, so this, let's see here. Okay, so this part is what comes down here. So we're not going to see all of his arm. Um, because that got cut off. But, uh, we see some of it. see some of it which is part here okay and I want to get some of that dark brown into his coat right here where it's all kind of this a little bit darker through here it's dark right in here it's kind of dark in here I'll blend that up into that Pinch it out a little. All right, so now I want to get this a little lighter in through here so I can start blending more. Um, same in here. It's almost got like a greenish color to it. Let me see. I gotta get some oxide green or green oxide, because uh, his his left, which would be actually his right, but on the screen, it's kind of like got that greenish shade to it. So let me see here. I can find some oxide. Greenish green. Oxide has sort of like a. Um, I can never find that when I need it. The oxide green. I keep buying it and I can't find it. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Let's see here. Green oxide. Well, I'll mix them up with my hooker's green can make up uh, with my hooker's green make it okay we'll put some hook or this hooker's green out we can just add a little bit of my um, sienna to that and it kind of comes up with that oxide green that I need all right so in through here we've got quite a bit of that and I'm just gonna kind of go over it a little bit with some of that more of that Very greenish color in through here. Very greenish shade. Comes down here to that. Even in here, we've got some of that going on up and through here it's kind of part of his smelt it's lighter then it gets dark over here Some of this dark over here too because his ear is quite dark 
quite dark. Same here. Very dark through here. And then through here, okay. And uh, let's get some more of this dark in through here. His little ear over here. Okay. There. Which comes down here a little bit. Very dark in through here. Kind of shadowy. that orange shade because I really like that green and orange coming through here. But I do want to get his coat that it looks like something's going on here. Very light here. Mix this out. Oops. Alright, so let's just get this back in here because that's very very light right here very light and I think that it's just the way his coat is um, I saw some other pictures with these otters that have very light coats uh, interesting very very light moving a little bit. Okay. A little bit of blue right in here. Just tapping it in because I'm going to be going over that a little bit with some of the um, brown. Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of my glazing liquid again and just kind of glaze this now. Kind of get this as a glaze. Too dark though. So keep this as a. I want to get that bluish shade up a little bit. Comes up. There. Well, that looks nice. All right. Very nice here. Get that blue in there. Get some of this blue around this area. Let me see here. I 
needs some light over this area. So we're going to get some of that light in through here. We've got that nice pretty blue, I mean red, and some of this. Maybe we can mix a little bit of that. Kind of just make it bluish red. And then we're going to put some of that dark in. Darker shade. I'm thinking he's almost there. I just have to get his eyes and Okay. So the way this looks, it's going this way. This little up. Get some more of that darker shade in here. Kind of mix it almost on the canvas. So now let's get some of that brown and some of our sienna and some of our glazing liquid. And kind of just come around here, kind of get that in there. We kind of go around in circles, don't we? Cover some of that oranges shade up and some of this. Also, now his little um he's he's got some of those little uh whiskers coming out of here. So that will kind of like be the last step here, but we have to get this covered up a bit. So Oh, this is so fun, this picture. I love doing this. This is so cute. He is just adorable. I just feel so bad for these poor things that get attacked and they don't even realize that bad stuff's happening to them, you know? Okay, so I'm going to mix some of that blue-gray color. in here. This could be a little darker. Let me see. A little darker. And through here. Some more grayish colors in through here. It's more of a deepish gray, I think. Let me get some. Oh, here's some here. Let me get some of my gray straight. This is natural gray. Just putting that straight out. I'm still using that number eight. out like that into this. Get some of that darker brown here. Now 
now some of these areas I am doing more than a glaze um, I want it to be thicker right in through here right underneath here it's kind of dark it follows underneath and then we've got the gray shades coming through again still coming through it's got to be kind of dark in here actually right in through here it's very dark and I just feel that that's part of the water splashing up on him all right let's get some of this gray blue brown Gray, brown, blue. It's more like our brown. Oh, this is kind of just a mixture of brown and gray. Highlight here comes down in through here. Perfect. All right, so I got this like little some little things going on here. Um, I gotta get that captured a bit. 
comes underneath here. And then it comes around here. Very important little things that come in through here. Very light. Get some white mixed into that. shades of gray rounded eye there some white white over round ghost all right so now let's see here comes around And there's some of this blue. It's kind of dark here. But because we got that light, lighter shade, it kind of dulls it down some. Okay. Right in here, there's that blue also. But the brownish shade kind of dulls it down some. So. What we're going to do, doll it down, bring it up here, bring it around here, and get this light, light here. shade to have this a little bit darker in through here a little touch of dark here same in here there's a touch of white right in here So over here, his little eye here, I'm going to get this in. I'm putting this in now because I have to get some dark around here. So I want to make sure his eye is taken care of here. Um, Got some kind of dark in through here, and this is also darker. Come down to like one of these things. This size seems to be bigger, but. <laughs> I don't know if it's just the way 
the way it's showing up, how that's happening, I don't know. On that picture. fades into that. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get more of this light. Can I just put it in here now? Glaze is built up pretty nicely. Oops, a little too much there. here as a little bit of white in the sienna <laughs> look how cute he is I think he's adorable I just love it okay so we've got this thing here around here it's kind of dark so I better go into my umber here this is very dark and through here bit of black that goes up into here right right in that area where that gets a little lighter for his nose and everything right in here and there's a little bit that just kind of goes outwards Now, I am not rinsing out my brush or any of that. I'm just kind of blending all this um, <clears throat> with a dirty brush. Because 
Now I can do that. Get all these shades in here. Okay, now I've got to rinse out my brush because I'm going kind of white now. <clears throat> but I think he's just about done. I can't imagine doing too much more to him because he's uh, looking pretty decent here. Um, this is my light blue. I'm going in here with that a little bit more here. And then I'm going to kind of go in with that brown kind of blend it in that and uh, some of my rows here that'll be nice for here kind of get that rose shade in there that's climacodon magenta actually but and that's a very strong strong quinacridone so you just want to kind of be careful when you're using that so you don't overpower your painting some more light in there uh, especially around these areas here um, need to get that in there break that up a bit Don't forget, you don't want to let, you don't want to like lose all the stuff that you put underneath there. So kind of just do it lightly. Just tapping this in now, just tapping it in because this is sort of like where his um, whiskers are coming from. For goodness sake, I'm getting so many things here. that orange in there keep that orange in there so this is sort of like the wash that I had going It's just so amazing how it just all came together. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get a little bit. 
bit of this dark in here. I'm gonna bring it around here. Okay, so some of that lighter brown here. Just tap it here. kind of lazy eye here so let me just let me get a smaller brush so I can just tap that in this is a um, artist brush it is a very small it looks like a filbert it doesn't say what it is but I believe that's what it is so we're gonna put this here we're gonna put a little dab here I have this come around a little bit more here. Get some of that dark brown. darker brown in through here, sort of like little, and then we're going to put some things that come out here. Right across, it's kind of got that dark here, right here, kind of comes across, goes into a bigger, bigger piece there. And I want to get this on the ears, right in here. Anybody still here? No, I guess not, huh? Too big of a painting to really do, I guess. Um, but I will have these on my Pinterest, uh, all for a dollar. Um, I'll have all these pictures that you can follow. And keep watching, keep watching, stop. Right when you get stuck, stop. If you have any questions, you know, by all means, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. All right, so I think all that this little baby needs here, a little bit more lightness here. Like right in here, we gotta go this way. Here it's a little lighter. I want to kind of do a little bit more on this here to fix that. There's still some things we can do here, I guess. Okay, and there's some lightness right out of here. Let's see what kind of... Okay, that's sort of like a gray. So let's get some gray. Comes out of here a little bit. Some little lashes. Okay. Little lashes here and some here. Okay, let's see here. Right in here. It's a little hairy there. Get that black in there again. Yeah, I, 
I want this part here a little lighter in uh, around that one eye there. It needs to be somewhat lighter. Let's see how this works here. It's like a highlight here. Same in here. Highlight. bit of hairy pieces here. You know, you don't have to put every hair in, but you do want to make it lighter. It needs to have that little bit of lightness here. little pieces of light kind of just coming in. Down in here, I want to get that a little lighter too. This is sort of like a highlight on his hair. Now, I'll probably look at this a couple of times and, you know, rework it because that's how I do things. I, like right now, you know, it's about done. I think it's pretty close to done. I, I mean, you can always add more. You have to know when to stop. And uh, I think at this point I'm going to stop, just get my um, little bit of glaze here. But all in all, this, this turned out real cute. I think he's adorable. And I'd love to hear your comments. See what you think. If you like this today, um, you know, like and share. I'd love that. Uh, it's real important to get my stats up. It's even great. It's even awesome or more awesome if you share. Okay, so I'm going to get his little uh, whiskers in. And I'm using a detail brush. It's a long detail brush. If you can see that. I'm going to wet it. And I'm going to go into my light shade that I mixed here. Um, but I'm going to put more white into it because his little whiskers are light almost white. Then I'm going to add some water to it because this has to be like an ink-like consistency. And I don't know if you can see this. Let's see. I can get Oops, I don't know. You see my phone. Well, you can see all this mess, huh? Okay, let's see here. Okay, yeah. Okay, right here. Okay, so it's an ink-like consistency. You don't want it real thin, but you don't want it real watery either. So we're going to Okay. So he's got a few up here from his eye. Okay, so you hold the, the brush back 
as you're doing this. And hopefully I don't screw this up. Okay, and lightly, you're gonna, you don't want a lot of control on this. This is the key. Okay, one here, one here. One here. And then there's one right here. Okay, so right there, I kind of messed that up. So one, one thing I can do is just uh, put some dark on that right away. Just get some dark in there. Okay. Now he's got a ton of these coming out of his uh, snout area. So we've got, whoops, ooh, ooh, no good, no good. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna kind of have them go down a little bit, kind of like that. Okay. Some more of these out. Okay. Try to get long ones and short ones. Control them a little bit. Okay. And these can go in different little area directions and stuff too. But he's got quite a bit of these on him. Let's do some over here. So you want to get that before it, and it's okay if it does that, but you don't want to leave it that way. Okay. These are just kind of light, light little pieces here. Lightly done. Got some short ones in through here. Okay, we've been doing this for two hours now, so that's about right. Okay, there's some little ones that are coming out of here. Little teeny weeny ones. Here. There's some come over this way. Come out this way. Try to get as many on here as you can. Because that's what makes him rock. Okay. Let's see here. I want to get a long one here. Ooh, there we go. Okay, let me get my little whiteies. This one. It's okay if some are thick, but you don't want to mess up. There we go. Yeah, I mean, you want, you know, oops, not that one. <laughs> Apparently they have a lot of these little things, little whiskers. Okay, oh, he's so sweet. He is adorable. Well, I hope you like this painting, and I hope that you stick with me for the next eight weeks, even though I'm not able to be on your painting. Um, I don't want to lose you guys. Um, I enjoy my following, and uh, just hate to see is, you know, decide that you don't want to be a part of my channel anymore. So. 
please. Um, oh, I can see something else that I can fix here. Uh, send me a note or, you know, um, love to hear from you. Pittsburgh artist, P Pittsburgh artist at uh, Outlook.com and it's PGH artist. Uh, you can send me a little note. I'll have my daughter check it. She's going to be home with me and um, yeah, this is adorable. This is really cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, uh, take care, stay safe, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.